Hi, this is Steve from CCS Cases. So I'm going to be going over how to end the case. Um, this is a point of confusion for a lot of new um, customers to CCS Cases and the USMLE Step 3 portion, uh, CCS portion of the Step 3. Uh, so it's it's pretty pretty simple. If you want to end the case, you have to advance the clock. Um, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll get all their, they'll do all their stuff and they'll be like, okay, hey, uh, I got all my stuff done, so I'm going to end the case um, by clicking on this uh, exit case button and say, hey, I'm going to exit the case. Um, and then they hit yes and they're like, wait, hey, you didn't end the case. I didn't get graded. Okay, well, that's... Um, that's just a convenience, so I'm going to continue where I left off. That's just a convenience to save your spot so that you can go do something else um, and you can come back to the same spot that you're on, just like what I did right there. Uh, it's just for convenience. That actually, that button does not exist on the real test. Um, these other buttons do exist. Everything else does exist, except this one doesn't, and that's just purely uh, for convenience of studying. Uh, that's not how you end the case. How you end the case is you advance the clock till the case ends. So you could either do it, uh, you know, so you can watch my other video about how the clock works. But if you're all done, you click call, see me as needed, and advance the case. So you'll get some results, um, and then you get some patient updates, and then you notice the clock is, is rolling. So now we're on day two at nine o'clock. All right, see the case is ended. So that is how you, uh, you end the case. You advance the clock. If you just sit there and wait till it times out, well, that's, you're going you're gonna to do really bad on the CCS portion. Uh, that's not how you do it. And if you want the case to end, you advance the clock. Um, thanks for watching.